Welcome to the 19th hole. Coming at you from the very cold Queenscliff Golf Course. Yeah, um, look, it's winter in Victoria and it's been raining and it's windy and it just hasn't stopped. Well, I should, I should clarify it's nice and warm in front of the fire. Well, and that's why we're sitting here. The course is behind us, yeah. if you're wondering. Yeah, we're just at the fire, warm, trying to warm the hands up <laughs> um, and having a beer. I knew very little about this course before we came here. I had no idea. Thank you to Will Johnston on Patreon for telling us to come out here. Mm. And if you wanted to tell us where to play, go to Patreon and sign up. Yeah. Less, less than a coffee a month. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, he told us to come, out, come over here and check out the Queensland Golf Course. And man, this is one of the best courses I've played in the Bell Arena. It's unreal. We've it played is. a few of them down here. It's up there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, my Lonsdale's around the corner. And the, this is better. Yeah, I I'll prefer to play it. here yeah. than Lonsdale. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are going to probably laugh at me for saying that, but yeah, I much prefer to play here than Lonsa. Oh, I thought it's, it's epic. Like, I love the I love the views, I love the ocean vistas, I love the wide open expanses mm. and the, the rolling fairways, and even some of the trees look really cool. And I'll put it over the top now that it's a pounded over, over some of those trees overlooking the bay. It's just, yeah. it's an awesome course to look at. Yep. The wind can really bite you. Oh, the wind can <laughs> be, I mean, oh, you saw I teed off on the 18th then. Um, and I aimed over the top of the trees yep. to bring it back onto the centre of the fairway. <laughs> like <laughs> there may have been a little bit of, of like hook in that, <laughs> but um, it, I mean it didn't. It was just it was a nice long shot that went all the way through. So, but then I hit mine and dead straight and it just stayed there. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I just lost it and it just didn't show it. Well, yeah. I mean, who knows? So we are doing a new segment in the show. We would have seen it last week where Damien test out a beer. And how's it go? Yeah. This is a pretty well-known beer. What do you got today? Corona. Yeah, I drink Corona. Oh, the beer, not the disease. <laughs> That's why you chose it. Isn't That's it? why I got it. <laughs> Do you know I had Corona when I was in Mexico? I say I was in Mexico, I was in Tijuana, which is like a minute over the border from San Diego. Went there for a day with a tour guide. And the Corona's actually taste better there. Yeah, they do. I had it in America and they were fresher and they tasted a lot better. Yeah. And I don't like drinking out of cans, but when we were in the States, when I had those Coronas, I, I could tell I wanted to drink over there was Corona because it was just, yeah, it was so much, it was awesome to drink over there. It was so fresh. Yeah. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what, um, what you want Damien to try out next, but he's just going to randomly check it out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test out the Cokes every every single week because I'm healthy. I, yeah, and we're going to put him on Coke Zero because <laughs> apparently um, he's healthy. Well, no, we're not doing Coke Zero. I can't do the Coke Zero. Sorry. You just said you were healthy. <laughs> was so you got to go a touch of sarcasm in that. Uh, right, a touch. So there was a lot of holes today that could have been a signature hole. A lot of beautiful holes. Yep. There's one hole that we made an absolute meal of. Oh. The twelfth. But it's a ripper. Yeah, it's a cracking hole. Well, it, yeah. If the, the wind wasn't there, it would have been an awesome hole. I loved it. Check it out now. Signature hole time. We're at the twelfth hole. Yep. Four hundred and seventy-three metre par five here at Queenscliff Golf Course. Yeah. It is freezing, but it is fantastic. And there's oh, death everywhere. That's right. Let's get into it. So there's no drone today, because there's an army base across the way, and we can't record. We're not allowed to fly a drone here. There's a lot of water down the left-hand side, which makes me very, very anxious. Come on, Wayne. Come back, come back, come, come back, on, come back, come back. No. Just short of that water there, I think. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. I, I thought I was standing too far away from it. fun here at Fredham. I have gotten lucky with the tee shot because I hit it crap. There's a lot of water right in front of me. I'm in mean a lot of water. And bunkers to the right and the green is a long way away. I've got an eight degree driver. So Tiger Woods falls is the slider which means nothing to me. Jesus Christ. Smashed it. Smashed it into the bunkers. That slammed into the wall. <laughs> I heard that from here. But it didn't go in the water, that's the main part. <laughs> right, so I can see the edge of the bunkers. 
If I go somewhere near them, I should be fine. Go on the hybrid. The problem is this wind's starting to pick up again now, so we'll see. Oh dear. Got over them. Realistically, that's one of the better results I could have hoped for. <laughs> in my head, that was going in the water, so very happy with this. Now I got a little pitch wedge shot at the green. Oh, Trevor, I've done a Damien. I've done a Damien. Bunker to bunker. So I've gotten lucky, I must have hit the tree or well, just hit the ground and stopped, but didn't hit it as good as what one would hope. Not as good as my driver. Not as good as your driver, no. But I'm not in a bunker, so I'm happy about that. So we've still got this left to right strong wind happening too. And by the way, there's, there's like four bunkers in front of you too, just to let you know. Yeah, no, so I'm going over the top to the drone, mate. Or in it. Nah, yep. Yep, back Green side bunker. <laughs> this is not the third shot I really wanted. Let alone the fourth shot, if I count correctly. Oh, Damien died! <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh boy! Trevor got so lucky on the last hole, he ended up parring it, and I played so much better and bogeyed it. <laughs> I think Carlos has come back to bite him in the butt hole. Bit of a disaster hole. We've all had these before. Some more than others. Very, very tough day in the office. Way, way left on that. Hello. Not a terrible effort, not a good effort. Bit hot, bit hot, bit hot. No, oh, stop. Well, it would have been right, just a bit too low. Hey? Just a bit too low, like you need to go up a bit higher. Yeah, it's tough in the wind. Good putt though. Very hard in the wind. Yeah, good putt. That moved nowhere near like yours. Now it does. <laughs> <laughs> Where I looked at that and thought, okay, Trevor's went way in. I'm a lot further, it's going to go further. Oh, bad luck. That is an incredibly, incredibly challenging par five in the wind. Oh. Get out to Queenstown and try it out. Do it on a windy day. <laughs> now, that was a pretty cool hole. I had not one shred of confidence that I could get that driver off the deck. No. That wa the water, I reckon there was at least 100 metres of water in front of me. I had a lot of smart aleck comments. Lined up. Lined up ready just to <laughs> reel them off one by one. Just, I was gonna, like, and I was just gonna watch you shrink every time, just go bang, bang, bang. The bang. confidence was like on the floor, and if you followed us for a while, you've probably seen that we moved down at Phillip Island. I did exactly the same thing, remember that? Yeah. If I can dig that up, I'll show it over the top of this now. But I talked about tripping the driver off the deck, and like it wobble the heads, look how good I am. Yeah. And then I walked up and just topped it. Topped it, literally, yeah. and it, he topped it that much. Oh, 
it wasn't as good as the one I done today. Went backwards. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> um, but that was I was trying to punch one under the tree, and I just hit it on the wrong side, and it bounced backwards. I reckon I've tried that four to five times on trying to trying to be a smart ass and go. I'm going to hit my eight degree drive off the deck because it's got a little head. And finally today it came off. That was a besh. That's what she said. Could have been there. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you said it anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I hit it in the bunker and it didn't work out. So, but, yeah. but, oh, your bunker didn't go work in the out. water. Yeah, um, we won't talk about my bunker. Escapade. Yeah, I mean, you exploded it out, but it was, wasn't was a bad shot. <sighs> but we, I mean, we walked away with bogeys on there, so. Yeah, I, I had double, but that's all right. Doubles, I, wasn't it? Yeah. I can live with it today because it was so windy and yeah. so I, hard. I get up just, we just, I just gave up on the score after a while because like, there's whole, a whole, one whole. Yeah, you could hit an eight iron in from 130 out, and the next hole you're 130 out, and you'd hit an eight iron, and it'd land 20 meters short and go way left. Like, yeah, it just yeah, the man, the trees. Like, there was that one hole. I think it was the 13th. We were you down in amongst the trees when you tee off. Yeah, or it might have been 14th. 14th maybe, yeah, yeah, 14th. You're down in amongst the trees and you tee off. You can't feel the, the wind. Yeah. So I've aimed straight at the flag. It's a cracking shot, and we both just went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, felt, I managed to find a little tiny gap in, yeah. the, in the trees. It was it was weird that I ended up in there, but I, I just like the different looks at it. Like, you went from like way open fairways just out in front of us here, like next to the bay, <laughs> and then like you say, that four length hole where it was sort of nestled in the amphitheatre style, yeah. and then the next hole, the very next hole, you had like a line of trees in front of you, and you could just see the flag over top yeah. in the distance. And a massive bunker, bunkers everywhere. Here. Yeah. And it's, and it's a different kind of sand too. It's not. It's not the normal sort of fluffy yellow sand. Yeah. It's a darker colour. Maybe it's a yeah, brain of it. It's the island sand. Yeah. Um, no, this is an island sand island. And you found it exceptionally hard to get I off. Found a few <laughs> times. And it, uh, there's one. I think it was the eighteenth or something. I hit it and it went over and I just gave up. Well, I, I will show a couple of little snippets of some of the shots that you did today, but um, I'm not going to rub it in too much. He <laughs> <You> will. <laughs> Jeez, I was laughing like. It was the, one of the funniest days I've had on a course because of that. <laughs> I literally could not hit it out of the bunker. No matter what I tried, how I tried, or whatever, I just kept fluffing it. It was that fluffy and it just kept sliding underneath or I'd miss it completely. And Now, I am going to cut now to how the F from today. I don't know if when we filmed it whether the actual microphones picked up me talking about it. So you may hear some weird over-the-top voiceover that I've done back in the office. So check it out now. I had a really long bunker shot. Check it out. All right, this is a... This is a how the F do I get out of this. I've got about 40 metres to the pin. Long bunker shot. And most people when they go to the bunker shots, they reach for their sandwich. But they probably should, but in these longer ones, I like to go up a club, play it like a bunker shot. So I open the club face up. I've got a wedge because it's downwind. Then just try and play a normal bunker shot as if you're out right next to the green. That's a good and effort. The wind that has rolled up nicely. Yeah, good putt. Ah, good chip. And that was and how the F episode. I don't know how that went. So <laughs> tell me what you think. But they're really hard shots because you've got to go up a club. You, you run the risk hard. of just sliding just, under it. Oh, look, it's just bunker. Anything out of the sand, I'm just, from now on, I'm actually going to just pick the ball out. <laughs> I, it, I owe it to the greenscapers not to destroy their bunkers. <laughs> At least you break it up afterwards, that's the main thing. I do. I really enjoy bunker shots because I, I can't, for, for the life of me, uh, I've been told a million times to get the head closed at impact. I can't do it, and it comes through open every time. So I hit my 7 iron like 130 metres, mm. when most people hit their 150. And, but when it comes to bunker shots, that actually works to my advantage because I can just slide it front under mm. and I just flop it out nicely. Yeah. Oh, except for that one on the 12th that went from the bunker to the back of the green. Oh, or the, or the sands the other week where I hit it and then it flew, it flew the green, it flew the trees <laughs> and ended up in the, but sometimes it, it mishits. Sometimes it. they go a little weird. <laughs> but like, but you said to me the other day, it was interesting, you said, um, I can tell when you're going to have a good day is when your sandwich is working well. Yeah. And she didn't work today. It was not on at no. all today. It the was terrible. Was the, ma the magic club was not a magic club today, and it, it showed because, like, if you generally, you know, with your game, if you can have a couple of bad shots and then you hit your sandwich in, and that's what saves you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love that club. Yeah, and that didn't today. If I was playing, I mean, I had that. I just had that string of like four holes where I was hitting perfect. Yeah. And then the twelfth, after I 
just struggled to get out of the bunker. It just, <laughs> it's shot. Yeah, that, it just killed me. Like I think I've, I hurt my arm again doing trying to do it. I think I must have done one of the shots I tried to hurt. And I don't know if you picked up on the review or not, but I said at that point, like, how, like I was going to write a book on how to destroy someone's confidence in one hole mm. because that just absolutely killed you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. Um, what was it? I don't know if, if I put it on top of this, but I want to release it as a short too. Is there were so many freaking putts today that lipped out. Oh. Like, and there was, I think there was one or two that we actually, the camera didn't work at the time and missed them. It, it could have been the best day of putting ever, hmm. but it wasn't. There could have been so many one putts. I know. Like distance one putts. The irony is on the pack screen, I hit three, like, like two of them. And I, I always know, as I soon as I do that, I've wasted them. Could not figure it out for the life of me. Could not figure out how we were just dropping, we're not dropping. Like, yeah. Ones that they'd hit the middle of the hole and do a lap and then come up and fly off. It's like, <laughs> yeah, but anyway. I mean, you hit one that hit the flag flush and knocked it out. Yep. Um, that one could have been, if the flag wasn't in, and yeah, but yeah, anyway. We're getting the hurry up here, so yeah. what do you think of the Corona Extra? Look, it's okay. It's not a Carlton Dry or anything like that, but, you know, look, it's a beer, so I'm going to have it. If you're a beer drinker, leave a comment down below what beer you want to try. Don't forget our friend's channel over at Barbecues and Brews. They're pretty cool too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.